Welcome back to Hermit Skies. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. I'll tell you what. Uh, the thing we got to get going on is to deal with these ores. Like, for example, look at here. Over 2,300 or 10 ore chunks. Iron is really serious at 12,000 chunks of iron. And we've got 2,200 chunks of nickel and... 811 of gold and let's see 655 eulorium okay there's not a whole lot of that but there's 1992 copper chunks and so on all these ore chunks have got to be smelted into a usable ore and not only so that it can be used but also to clear out the chunk storage so that there's more can come in because this thing Oh, please. Minecraft? Yeah. It's really trolling me today. <laughs> okay. And, by the way, yes, I do still have some chickens in there. However, they are not chunk loaded. So, this shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's see. Yes. Okay, so... I have a plan. I have some sag mills, I have some smelters, some basic item filters, and then samples of all the chunks I'm going to be filtering. Let's get a good stack or two of the conduits. And I think I want to set this up over here. Let's see, we've got 11 smelters, 11 sag mills. Let's just, uh, actually, yeah, okay, and the way to set these up. Uh, let's see, conduit. Okay, we've got conduit here that hooks in to the uh, drawer controller. It's got in and out, insert on green, extract on brown. And we'll make it always active. That should be enough, so... Alright. So let's just... Just hook onto the network here. set this up and this one is going to be insert and we're going to filter say Eulorium ignore metadata of course and then the machine will configure its I.O. so that it will push to the bottom and this one Pull from the top and push to the bottom, I guess. Yeah. 
and then out of the bottom we have another set of conduit that will extract always active on the green channel because green channel will go back into the uh, thing and we don't have to filter it because it's only going to get one thing coming in. All right, this is a little, well, let me just do it this way. Okay. All right, that'll take care of that. And now I just need to set up the rest of them. And also, it would be a good idea to arrange power. Let's see. Enhanced energy conduit. That'll do the trick. And this is the power connection at the moment. I should probably do something about more power. Yeah. Well, generator. I was looking at this. This uh, generator from Draconic Evolution. Draconic Evolution has something of a reputation in terms of power. So, nether brick iron ingot furnaces and draconic cores draconic cores which I happen to have from a previous quest reward and I've got some nether brick and iron is no problem alright I should have some furnaces in here I do alright No sense in not making as many as I can. And I'm just thinking all right all right coal obviously, but just for giggles, will it accept a bucket of lava? I don't honestly know. I've never messed with this thing before. It will accept lava. Oh, how sweet. Yeah. All right. So we take the generators. And run a pipe over from this barrel of lava. Yeah, which has 59,000 buckets of lava in it. All right. Uh, fluid conduit. Uh, oh, please, I got to do better than that. All right, pressurized fluid conduit, conduit binder, fused quartz, fused quartz. Oh, will you stop with the different kinds of fused quartz? I just want plain... Fused quartz that doesn't have 80 different kinds. The alloy smelter. Okay, four. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that'll get me the quartz. What was I looking for here? Oh, the conduit. I'll need the conduit binder. I should have plenty of that. Oh, 
Oh, please, do it right. There we go. Okay. That's it, okay. This should do pretty good. It'll do. Okay. Okay, now we should have lava going down that way. All right, I'm just going to get this conduit run over there, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm just about ready to get going here. I mean, I got the uh, sag mills all set up, and the alloy smelters are hooked up and whatnot. I'm going to need to make octatic capacitors for all of them, but I can do that later. Uh, I have run into one little hitch to get along, however. And while this thing will accept coal solid fuels and planks and wood and so on and it will also accept lava buckets what i have not been able to get it to do is to accept a fluid conduit connection anywhere it just won't top bottom sides it doesn't matter they won't connect so I got one more gimmick that might work, and that is this gimmick over here with the mechanical user using lava buck empty lava buckets or well empty buckets on the lava barrel and sending them through to there. Where it's inserting lava buckets and extracting empty buckets. So, I have some filters made up. I have some conduits of the item variety. And let's just make this easy and dirty. And we'll worry about pretty later. All right, now here we'll make this in and out. And. It would be useful if I had actually stopped to make the aforementioned buckets. And let's get some lava in some of them. Okay, we are inserting on green bucket of lava. We don't care about metadata. And we're extracting empty buckets. Again, we don't care about that, and it's always active. Now, well, how about if I just put a bucket in here? That should trigger the thing to work. Well, it burns. It's, well, it looks like it's going.
All right, power's going out. All right. All right, extract, always active. Bucket is not being pulled out. You mean to tell me this thing will not allow? Okay, fine. Uh, I wanted to use these because they had some great potential, I think, but I obviously don't know how to automate them. So, I have an alternative plan already in place. So, I will set up my Sterling Generators in a fashion that I have already done over there. And as soon as that burns out its energy, I'll tear it out of there in the meanwhile. Make it in out, and I'll go ahead and get this thing set up with its filters, where it will be inserting lava buckets, and it will extract. Oh, what's the extract channel for that? I think it's extracting on brown. Yes, it is. So over here, it will also extract on brown, always active, and it will filter empty buckets. And, it will, and it's inserting lava buckets. Put that in there manually to maybe hopefully get the thing kick started. But I don't see it going anywhere. Hmm. It's possible I may have to set up a duplicate setup with another mechanical user. Oh, wait a minute. Grid power zero. It's nighttime. All of my grid power is coming from solar. In other words, nothing grid power operates at night. <laughs> That's terrible. I have to get some water mills in installed. Now let's see if it's working and transferring buckets of lava over here back and forth. Uh. Insert lava, extract empty buckets, always active on the brown channel. Okay, it sent those out. Ah. Mighty peculiar. Okay, I'll be back. You know, some days you feel like a derp, and this is one of them. 
it would have a chance of exchanging stuff back and forth over there as well if the conduits actually connected. No wonder it wasn't doing anything. The conduits weren't hooked up. But they shall be very soon. Let's see. That's energy and okay. So just take it straight across. And then break that one. This should be working. Okay. In out. Insert lava. Extract empty bucket. Brown always active. Okay, filter, no, not on that, on in out, insert, lava, extract, brown, always active, filter, empty bucket, we don't care about metadata. What happens if I put a bucket in here? The empty bucket goes away. All right, and the generator itself cranks up generating. Okay. Okay, now hook up energy conduit. Okay. And then the energy conduit already comes out under here, goes up here, and goes into the back of all of these machines. They should all be powering up. Yes. All right. So I just need to finish hooking these up, and that should work for the item delivery of lava buckets from over here two over there to provide power for all this. Now, how about the power that I'm not actually using at the moment? All right. In any event, my uh, plan for power storage was to make 16 more of these capacitor banks. And then, well, just kind of set them up here where they can take advantage of the power. Well, let's see. power network is on the bottom so we'll just do it that way that ought to do pretty good and then I can add on to that easily what I have however noticed is that while this setup of this with the uh, sag mills and smelters is working good, finally. I did have a little bit of g hitching to get along. I had to make sure that the insert was coming from blue channel, which is where the output from the controller is going on. And I also had to make sure to go back and set match metadata, because if metadata was not matched, it was pulling aluminum ingots in here to be sag milled and then re-smelted. Yeah. And that went for copper and all the rest of them as well. But by turning on match metadata, it's getting that particular copper ore chunk and no other kind of uh, copper. So that much is working. But what's not working is this. I mean, it works in that if I put a bucket in there, it will empty and the bucket will go back there. That is not a problem. That part works admirably. 
and so on. But what's not working, and you'll be able to see this on the other end, and I, some of those I haven't even got hooked up with the filters yet, but that's okay. What happens is they come back here and any blocks, any buckets that go in here, they land in here in the first slot. It gets right clicked on the bucket, uh, on the barrel, fills up with lava, and guess where it goes first? Right here. All of them. And that's not good because this thing, if you've got a stack of buckets in there, it'll use them all. But you'll only get one lava bucket's worth of output, and the rest of them will vanish. Is what I understand, basically. Uh, pretty much what I'm not getting here is a way for this thing to round robin between all of the possible outputs for it. And that's what I need to get figured out. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it, possibly with the advanced filter. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. But, uh, yeah. Time is a thing there isn't a whole heck of a lot of. And, hey, speaking of not having a whole lot of something, it just occurred to me, my battery's dead. Just about. Yeah. That's how long I've been working on getting things figured out here. Uh, honestly, I'm thinking I might actually go through here and uh, stop the sag mills and let the furnaces run out and see what I can do about figuring out the power generation situation. Because if I can't manage to round robin buckets of lava into these, that's going to be a difficulty because, well, one of them just ain't going to cut it. And I really don't want to have to duplicate the mechanical user with the drum thing 87 times or 8 times or what, whatever, you know. So I'm going to work on that, figure out what I can come up with. And we'll be back next time to hopefully get some more done. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.